What's quite satisfying is when you sprint towards the uh, under the chain jumps, you have to like duck and slide under them, and it kind of feels pretty epic. Now I'm in crunch. Fuck. I'm Luke Williams from Boston Studios. I'm a designer there and designed Surgeon Simulator, Iron Bread, and then more recently, Worlds Drift. It takes place in the sky with ship battles, just because I felt like that was appropriate, since my that's the theme of my uh, most recent game. <laughs> this is. That's a savage bit there. Yeah, you basically, your Mario sort of jump between clouds, avoiding sort of physics y chain chomps as they sort of swing around. Um, and then at the end, you've got to fly through, the, uh, fly through the sky and get attacked by cannonballs and flying, swinging chain chomps. Whenever I built levels, I always have to have like a fucking like tunnel logic there. Like, like this section over here, it's like floating in the middle of the air, but I thought this rocket's not really there as a hazard, it's there so I can explain why the platform is floating. I hate levels where you go down and there's like, at least put doors down corridors so I know that it's a functional corridor, don't just build like, with no walls or anything like that. There's tricky sections, that's for sure. But it's more of um, logic sort of in, in the level, so like everything kind of feels like, sort of belongs, like stuff's flying because there's rockets sort of keeping it up, there's nothing sort of, randomly happening and then there's the sort of like the physics nature of it the flying vehicle at the end sort of bounces around and the way i built the tracks with the chain chomps means that kind of they as they kind of switch path they kind of have some momentum so they swing more and so you've got to kind of anticipate uh their, their sort of like physics movements i was basically just going through mario maker trying to find all the most physics objects i could <laughs> and then throwing them to the level Yeah.